For this topic, we are going to be practicing in class more than we are actually lecturing or going through things uh, that way. So this will be more of an activity. However, for your review, be able to define electron configuration. We're going to be building those in class. The Alfau principle, Pauli exclusion principle, spin, and Hund's rule. We're actually just going to go over those four things in this micro lecture. Draw models of electron patterns based on the periodic table. You will need to do that for your exam, and you'll need to do that in class. Diagram electron configurations. That's pretty much the same thing that other objective says and relate filled electron orbitals to the periodic table and chemical reactions. So you want to go back to lecture 5.1 to be looking at how those orbitals work. The alpha principle is that the orbitals of lowest energy will be filled first. So that of course early on means your first energy will be filled first. Okay, fill 1s before filling 2s. This sounds good so far. Then 2s before 2p. Okay, sounds great and then fill 1s, 2s, and 2p before moving on to 3s, all right, then 3p, okay, everything's moving along fine, and then 4s before 3d. That's where things get a little more complex, and that's when you're going to be dealing with the metals. So remember, for the metals, you're going to be filling d orbitals before you're filling uh, the next orbitals. So those are going to matter, and then you'd have the transition metals where you're filling those f orbitals first. Things do get more complicated as you move down the periodic table. Fortunately, elements generally become a little less common as you move down the periodic table, and most of our chemistry is going to be at the top of the periodic table rather than down there. So this is how you write it out. I would encourage you to write out this little diagram as this person has, and then see how you're going to be drawing these lines of lower energy through that. The Pauli exclusion principle is a little simpler. Electrons in the same orbital must have different spins. So if you are in the 1s orbital, then you have to have one going up and one going down. What's spin? Spin is a quantum mechanical property of electrons, and quite frankly, that is as much as you need to know unless you start getting into the type of chemistry that requires calculus. So here, you're just remembering you point one up and one down, that's your electron spin up and electron spin down. But what if your energy level has multiple suborbitals in it, well, that's when you're going to look at Hund's rule. You're going to fill each subshell before pairing. So 2p has three different orbitals. So you put one electron in each orbital before you start pairing them up. So this is basically give them the maximum amount of space so that the number of electrons with the same spin is as large as possible. So all the all the ups before you start adding downs, you add the downs one by one. And that's gonna be true for the subshells. Remember you fill the shells before filling the subshells. And how do you fill the shells? We'll go back to the Aufbau principle. Simple enough? Eh, kind of. But practice, 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 and you will get there.